This is a series of films that tells the history of contemporary fashion photography as seen through the eyes of models. Jürgen, we know, we love. Yeah, um, we love. And did some incredible pictures of you. But is part of that sort of generation of photographers like Craig, David, Jürgen, Corin, who in a way, and this, they'll all hate me for this, but in a way they felt in a similar sort of bigger sort of vision of fashion photography. It was no longer the Lindberghs, the Pens, the Abaddons, the Mizells. It wasn't that. The Knights. Yeah, what about Don't that? miss yourself out. I mean, come on. <laughs> but it, it wasn't, it was a, and it was, yeah, it was a. It, it was, was an institution. You lot were an institution. And then yeah. that lot came in. Yeah. And I think they were right. Real little fuck. They were like, yeah. fuck them. I want to fucking take. I, I mean, David, I remember David saying, I'm going to change, I'm going to change the world, I'm going to change it. And I was like, oh, please, <laughs> you are being, you mental, be honest. And they kind of, they kind of did, did. Yeah. in a way, which is really, it was amazing that they were so stubborn that they were like, I am going to, you know, that's not how I see fashion. Yeah. And it was a little group, right? it was four or five people. Mm. Did it all really? Mm. And ushered a whole new moment. I mean, the, the interesting thing is, if you go and look at Tumblr now, so I don't know if you ever go and look at Tumblr, but Tumblr's like kind of a every kind of visually aware kid now has got a Tumblr and they pile it full of their favourite people and favourite pictures. And you are still always in all the Tumblrs. You're still like the person that is in there. So it's kind of mostly whatever image that was created of you and you created of yourself has been so endear endearing, enduring, and has lasted so long. It's exciting. Mm. It's it really is, exciting. no, it's great, yeah, but I just don't know. I mean, it's just weird, isn't it? Yeah. I just think it's just weird. But did you ever see yourself as a career model? Because you did. No. But you were before Corinne and all that. You were, I mean, is that like pictures of you, that really super pretty little picture of you when you look like about 12? And it's, yeah, I'll find it on the internet in a minute. And it's like very well, kind of like, you know, model picture. You know I mean? Well, I went, I, you know, I did test pictures. Yes, that's the sort of thing I'm Yeah, I did test pictures. I went to the, yeah. Because you were with Storm straight yeah, away. Yeah, straight away. And I did pet test pictures. And and then um, I did like a Ms. magazine and that was yeah. it really. And then, I know, but the thing is, I didn't really care that I wasn't oh. getting booked. I didn't yeah. really, I was just like, I just wanted to hang out in London yeah. and like yeah. be like, oh, hello. Like go into the castings, I'd meet girls, we'd go for coffee. Yeah. I just never had that, um, I never got that whole like, oh, I didn't get booked. I never had that. Yeah. I didn't give a shit. But you weren't ever setting out to be a career model? No. Right. I was just really happy to be like meeting people. Yeah. So oh, that was, I, I that can understand it's the world I know, so I can understand why it's attractive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you know, like, you know, and just, I think I was always drawn to those, you know, those people that were creative or, or yeah. um, you know, a bit out of, outside of what I knew. Yeah, I, mean, I, I can absolutely understand, both from, you know, having done it for 30 years, yeah, years exactly. or whatever, you know, why it's such, why, why it's such a draw. Do you think in kind of, if you had to put it, more goods and bads on the whole? Yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, more goods and bads. Yeah. I definitely would not have, you know, obviously there's been ups and downs and there's been moments of like, but actually on the whole, I think the yeah. industry's been really nice to me. Yeah. And um, I've worked hard. If they thought, you know, it's, let's say it's give and take, isn't it? If they, yeah. if they thought that I was, if I was just a, a, a shallow kind of model who just turned up and didn't give a fuck. But I do give a fuck. Yeah, the number of interviews I've done, and always the first question is, why is Kate such a great model? And you always go, oh. And I come up with the most dumbest answers. But it, for me, it's partly the, the, the sports person, actress thing, which is the sort of, you know, stamina, but also bring the whole story with you. And it's partly because you're, you're nice. A nice person to spend awful time thing. with. No, but yeah, no, I'm being sick but of you know what? No, no, but no, like, nice. Yeah. You know when everyone says that word, nice. So it's, so it's supposed to be like an awful word to say. But nice. You're, you're you're very lovely to spend time with. You're super kind of friendly, and you're not. I like to have fun. So, yeah, but that's. But I that's, don't like being all around horrible people. But it's a very tricky one to answer in, when you're being interviewed. When people say, "Why is Kate a great model?" You go, "Well, cause she's." kind of great and that's about it and everybody sort of stumbles on that question but actually and in a way you were very very different from a lot of other models I'm not that nice 
Well, I'm sure we, yeah, <laughs> we all have a nice side, a nice side. <laughs> but for the intents and purposes of kind of you know, spending no, some I time know, with you in the course. way we do. No, I am. No, but you know what? When I turn up for work, I'm so happy to see everybody because these yeah. are people I've been around for t 20 years. So like yesterday yeah. when we were Val and Sam and you and yeah. Katie. And, and it's so nice that we're so lucky. I mean, I really do feel grateful to be working still with people that I yeah. love. And... and um, and having a nice time and, and yeah, creating nicest, things yeah. and, and having a nice yeah. time and having a nice day. But you're very grounded you in like, that way. Huh? You're, a lot, you know, you're very grounded. If you look at some of the other examples of great models, they've had a much harder time just adjusting to life. And, you know, and the friendships you have are true or seem to be true. Yeah, you, no, you, my friendships, I mean, the yeah, fashion people are like very... Your relationships are important to you. They're not light relationships. You've got you know, a beautiful daughter. Yeah. You know, you've got a great husband. You know, you, these are people who are important and genuine in your life. Mm. So you feel, the ground is the wrong word, but very, you know, there isn't a kind of this sort of feeling, and you feel looking at other models, no, I don't want to mention I know, but, now, but I am older than them. No, I mean, other older models than you. I mean, oh. it's back to the Vimas and the kind of, you know, yeah. the people who... Because I think, like, those girls, some of the girls now, and they're like, oh, they're, I mean, I don't think, I mean, I went out with Mario, I hung out with David, I yeah. hung out with Jürgen, before yeah. we were kind of famous, you know, like yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. like... We yeah. were really, we were just kind of getting on with it. And so they became my friends. So it wasn't like a... Yeah, it wasn't like a kind of No work thing. thing. But it's also We've because always you been part, hanging out. Yeah. Always, I mean, that's that question when people say to me, why are you great? Um, I always want to say, and I've said it once, and I really regret to say because it, it sounds really stupid, but you're a bit like the girls I used to know at school. Yeah, you know, of course. I don't I'm mean... I, don't I mean like hanging really. out with the boys. Yeah, it's a bit Yeah, that. of course. That's, and, and also, I think it's... Um, and I don't flirt, really. Yeah. It's never kind of like a sexual, like, um, you know, it's never, there's never a, like a tension of sexuality when I hang out with yeah. Jürgen or yeah. David or Mario, obviously, because I went out with him, but Craig, yeah. you know, like, but yeah. there's not, like, I don't go, it's never that photographer model, like, yeah. ooh. So we just hang out and do pictures and they can say, like, oh, take, you know, it's never, yeah, it's, yeah. and that's why, I mean, I kind of, like, it's funny because they don't believe me, you know, other people. Yeah. But people who know me know yeah, yeah, that yeah. I don't really yeah. use my, I don't have that kind of thing, yeah. do I? No. Anyway, that's right, back yeah. onto the fashion photography. Um, that's what oh, I'm talking about, about oh next. No. Tell me a little bit just about the a photo. Big, uh, I had pink hair. Yeah. Because Donatella said, I want I want you for an exclusive for for Saatchi and Versus, right. and then they're a week apart the shows. Yeah. And I want you know you've got blonde hair, and I want you to change your hair color and come back. Don't do any shows and change your hair color. You know it's all about changing your hair. You know yeah, like yeah, your yeah. look yeah. or whatever. Woo, yeah. she's changed hair. So um, I was like, I'm not going like red or like something normal. I was like, I'll go pink. Yeah. So I went pink. And it was so sad because this, this this picture was when it started looking good, yeah. and that's when Calvin said, uh -huh, "I don't think so. You're gonna oh, have really? to go back to, you know, brunette or whatever." Yeah. So, so only had it for a week. Oh, a shame! It's beautiful. And then so that was the shoot because Jürgen said, um, "I said, oh, you know, I've got, I've got to go back to brown. So yeah. from pink to yeah. get back to brown, it had to go pink." Um, it, they strip it and then it goes orange yeah. and then they put the toner in it goes white and then they you know it goes through like stages yeah. of hair color so in yeah. one day we did it like all these different yeah. looks and it was just in my wardrobe and we were doing all these like just crazy pictures just me and him yeah. and that was one of them hmm. and so again to ask you the, the same question what are you seeing at that point looking at Jürgen standing on my bed <laughs> and is there music on how does Jürgen work I mean, no, you're going well. Mm, so well, sure. it's not, it was at my house, so. Right. So there's whatever. There's whatever. We're playing. Yeah. And are there many people around? Was no. It just you and Jürgen? Yeah. Right. And so the, the relationship you have with Jürgen seems to generate some very. Um, I mean, the same way the relationship you have with Corin seems to generate some very honest pictures of you and some very um, personal pictures of you. Is that sort of a fair reflection of the relationships? Is that. Yeah. yeah. Well, we really hang out and I, I do get his twisted. Yeah. And um, I like his 
you know, I used to really like the way you did like wars, uh, you know, like it was not so, I, I got it. Like when, you know, he did a picture of me in the Ritz and I'm in, in a fur coat lying with my birthday presents and I'm just kind of, you know, in the bed and it, Yeah. and I get it. I yeah. get what he's, I get yeah, why yeah. he's doing it. And it's, it's kind of, and then, yeah, so I got, when we worked together, it was kind of a good, yeah. a good relationship.